All right, Matt. Um, let's play. Um. Okay, we can declare a bunch of different wars. Are we? No. Okay. Why do I have? I don't know one? if that's a good idea. Yeah, let's declare war on the Byzantine Empire. It'll go great. We have, um, you know, 200, 200 soldiers. It's cool. Yeah, let's let's do inventory here. We need to we need to really get down to like. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Got an air, Mala. Oh Mala boy. Draculaculus must. <laughs> Maladraculacula. It's great. I love this name. It's my favorite name. <laughs> um, let's see who we can marry some people. We could get some alliances here. Gerberge. Irma Gerd. Gerberge. <laughs> Gerberge, your men. Um... She doesn't sound fun. She's wrathful, honest, and arbitrary. Sounds like she's much more qualified than we are. Let's sort by alliance power here. The County of Mossinopolis. The fuck is this? Oh, we, well, we don't have it? a claim to it yet. Well, the the point would be to ally with them so they can help us in our wars to presumably... Oh, I'm, I'm know, getting ahead of myself. I was just something. assuming that you were already, like, scoping out places to snatch up. This person has a claim on a whole... Are you... Are you the daughter of the French king? Duke, Duke Robert the Strong of Anjou. Uh... I love Anjou when I'm, like, eating a good roast beef sandwich. Good strong on you. Apparently had a uh, a lot. Um, that sounds good. Yeah, let's let's get, let's marry. She's also arbitrary, but she's craven and lazy as well, and she's an astute intellectual, and she has a fucking shit ton of claims to various kingdoms. You know, you get rid um, of the claims to the kingdoms, and that sounds an awful lot like me. <laughs> So we'll do that. Um, so they... We had lifestyles in uh, in Crusader Kings 2 that were added in a, um, a DLC. Um, they have come over to this game as well, but they are significantly expanded. So as we do stuff, um, we'll get experience of the lifestyle that will then get turned into points here. Um, because we have a diplomacy education, we get a bonus to diplomacy um, point gain. So we should probably do one of these. Um, let's see here. This is very much like make vassals and allies like us. Uh, August is a bit more like you're a cool, strong ruler. People kind of fear you. Um, I believe there's a... No, that's in stewardship that gets the uh, the bonus to knights, I believe. So what is it that we're really building towards no, at wait, this no. point? Where's Overseer? Well, that's in Marshall that has the... Well, um, okay, let's take a look at, at where we are. So we are a count. Um, our vassal is Prince Dux of uh, Presyanov, who is... He is a rapacious atheist. Oh, that's no good. He's also bisexual. Um... So he's the brother of King Boris of Bulgaria. He's an evil atheist. Oh no, we're basically starring in a Kirk Cameron movie. 
<laughs> Just when you switch back and Matt fills up the entire screen. <laughs> His head gets cut off. Um, he likes us. Well, that's good. Except that we're from a, a non... We're not... Bulgarian. We're not ethnic we're Bulgarian. Um... So he's pretty powerful. He has uh, about five times, six times the troops that we can we can muster. Um, this is such a great fucking dynasty name every time I see it. <laughs> uh, all right, so at this point, I think we should um, probably just go with the diplomacy lifestyle here. Um, so when you choose a lifestyle to perk up does does that lock you into that lifestyle no you can change it but it takes a while to build up to these things and at the end of them you get a trait that's permanent to your character um so the idea you really want to like go all the way down to the line to get that trait um but you know there can be reasons to go and, and switch to a different um lifestyle at some point but but you can only be making progress in one at a time is what you're saying yeah well okay so you can only make progress in one category at a time we can potentially spread our points around here but again we want to generally probably want one of these end traits at the bottom which you get by completing a line so generally you tend to put all your points into one line and then move to a line um, i like the i like i like the idea of becoming august if for no other reason than it's just a funny thing to say about a person he spent his entire life and eventually he became august all right We'll do that. Uh oh. Yep, Chris dropped. Hi. Hi. What the hell happened? How, how long was I gone? I don't like, know. To us, about five seconds. Because I was listening to you talk, and then everything disconnected, and then I came back immediately, and it was just bizarre. Anyway, moving on. Oh, we have two points we can spend. All right. Um, well, that's what I was wondering. Like, like we have two points in this category, but if the spending them lock us in, so like, if we suddenly get money or whatever points, can we spend those as well, or does that remove? What you we don't do here? get those points unless your your lifestyle focuses in that category. You, oh, so, so we, all we lifestyle are points we get here. will be oh, the okay. category. Now, we can change gotcha. that at some point, but then you have to work towards that instead. Um, okay, that makes more sense. So... I thought it was like one of those RPGs where it's just like, the more you do diplomacy, the more you get diplomacy points. Yeah, no, no. Um, and it really doesn't actually affect that much, like, what we're doing doesn't really have that much of an effect on it, so... Alright, so... Um... Let me launch an independence horror. We probably want to get a claim on that Dutch at some point. We should take a look at... Uh, where's our council here? Um, right. Bishops fabricate claims. Crovat is cool. He's my new favorite. Yeah. I mean, it's Friendship just a ended with sweet Kibaj. outfit, but... My new best friend is Crowbot. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not just the outfit. I think the uh, name Crowbot has got like those hard consonants that like give it a real military feeling for a dude that's in the, in the arms. The low resolution of the thumbnail also makes it look like he's just grabbing his naked sword and just kind of holding it at an arbitrary angle. <laughs> just grabbing it right yes. by the blade. He's like mad dog and you like, see this? You see this shit? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Come take it and whip it out of my hand real hard. What? No, no crowbot, no. <laughs> Fucking wuss. So I swear it's, if we this goes expand. fine like two thirds of the time. We could try to fabricate some claims on these things here. Yeah, so, sounds good. Um, it's like classic shit, right? Yeah. 
and we're gonna get farther. Like since since the dude, the Transylvania dude, always already likes Docs already likes us. Uh... Oh hey. Nice. Yeah, we should get the money here. Yeah, get the bag. You got married. This is the one time that you can tax everybody, and by the one time you can tax everybody, I mean you're gonna be doing that a lot. Actually, <laughs> that's pretty much what you do. That's like the whole point of you, really. Oh, hey. Hi, we've been uh, hey. appointed to Chancellor of Transylvania by our liege. Hey, for like a dipshit atheist dude, he's pretty nice. <laughs> Oh, they added a bar to the stress level. It's been a while since I played this game. Accused of claim fabrication. Oh. Really? Wait, Bishop, come on, man. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Your court chaplain's poor learning skill caused this problem. Wait, so is that that he just, like, really fucked up because he sucks? Or was that yeah. that he made, like, a paperwork error? I, I would say probably both. I've heard good things. Okay, who is this? Um, a different prince of Bulgaria. I've heard good things about you. Oh, but this guy's a righteous absolver. A conversation. Um, sure, frame the duke's yeah, letter in my hall. Frame, frame the duke's letter in the hall. What? Like what? So nice, can, like I, that's the kind of guy we are. Well, but we can like start exchanging letters, and we'll you know. Oh wait a minute! Pen wait a pals. minute! If you frame the Duke's letter, you don't write back? Yes. <laughs> what, is, what, what, Some... what, what do we gain? So we frame the letter and then just not respond. But Somebody what sends you a letter and you're like, what, we what get a nice letter. prestige. What? So we get like, Oh, this person who's way cooler than the me. letter. Yeah, well, we, you know, it's like hanging a diploma or whatever, you know, this person well, is really well, way cooler than I am, Principal Gary, it was like, hey, you're cool, you could, and we framed it in our office. But you could write back, it's not like he sent you a check and you framed it instead of cashing no, it. No, you're like, not you could allowed, still write... Rutskarn. Well, I, okay, I guess exchange <laughs> letters with Count Matt, or, or with, with Welcome Gavril. To... Welcome to <laughs> Dracula Kula's monster's house, would you like to see my letter? It's very pretty. <laughs> This guy wrote me asking me to write him um, back. I was so pleased. And have you written him back? What? <laughs> so our our counselor um, made this guy not like us because he sucks. What? Can we kill him? Kill our, him. Our council may not be very good at this. Kill kill our council. <laughs> Wait, our counselor like did he <laughs> write a letter back like, hey fucko, thanks for your note, dipshit. I guess he'll get around to responding. No, this was a different guy. That, a that was a different guy. That that wasn't the same. Oh, Where, this is. Oh, I see. I'm this glad. is the other guy. Um, do we want to discuss the finer points of etiquette, investment opportunities, or send a gift? Please keep writing to me. Here's some money. Send me more letters. <laughs> I've already got a um, frame picked it, out. So, our, our guy seems so like this is a like. like well, what is he? Etiquette. What is he like? We should we should um, definitely discuss the finer points of etiquette, and by discuss the finer points of etiquette, I mean send him a letter correcting him on like little details of politics. <laughs> Dudes love when you do that. Bros are just oh super God, happy. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Nice one, Ruts. Oh, we are we are the um actually dude of Transylvania. <laughs> Count Matt Dracula, Acula, I'm actually. <laughs> We're, I'm actually Yellow's monster. Fun fact this count is actually the origin of both Dracula and Frankenstein. That's where this all comes from. I also like the idea that we rudely lectured him on etiquette. Hmm. What is this? War against the tyranny of King Boris. Um, That's our dude, right? No. Well, yeah, Boris is our, our... This is another vassal under Boris. I guess Boris did something that he didn't like, and so now he's declared war. We don't really need to participate in this at all unless they bother us in our land. We don't really have 
the soldiers necessary to do it anyway. Overtaxation causes banditry. Um, <laughs> My steward's poor stewardship caused that problem. Boy, the council is not playing together the problem A game. Being a count. Did we just no. like? Did we just like appoint our WoW guild to be our councilors or something? Like some medieval equivalent <laughs> of that? Like these are just like this is the squad. Kinda. Just um, like our, all our dumb bachelor friends. What do I want to do here? Okay. Um, we should probably get a man at arms regiment like, here. We don't have a lot of money. I, I feel like I should clarify by the squad. I mean like the frat boy thing that people would say years ago. Not like. It occurs to me there actually is like a political alliance in American politics called the Squad now. Yes. Completely unrelated to the point I was making. These guys are we're doing something. Wait, can we just declare war on these guys without fabricating a claim? Oh, yeah. Oh. I really like the well, idea that someone just told Matt he could do that. <laughs> this guy's a king? He's a high chieftain. No, okay. In... High chieftain. That's That's gotta be a duke title. What is the... What's the de jure stuff here? Moldavia. Oh, okay. Oh, that's where... Uh, He's got the, the half... What? I was going to say that's where the bad guy from Ghostbusters 2 is from. Never mind, go on. <laughs> All right, Chris. Um, yeah, we don't have nearly enough dudes to take this guy on, but we could take him on. And So what is the what does this cost? That costs 2,000 prestige. This costs 750 prestige. Yeah, or not 750 prestige, 750 piety. Where is Carpathia? Um, Pathia is uh, around here somewhere, I forget. This is like a Where's Waldo game. I'm just I'm just wondering because I figure if if, if Vigo is Sorrow of Moldavia and Scourge of Carpathia, they've gotta be close, but maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe that's just, like, how much reach he has. Or maybe they're Wait. separated by time. Maybe Carpathia doesn't exist yet. Could be. So, we need... So, what do Where we need to start the, war is that, is that a pop culture reference? I don't know. It's from Ghostbusters yes. 2. Oh, yeah. Um, Carpath yeah, Carpathia, <laughs> I think, comes in later. Um... He's talking about Vigo the um, Vigo the Immortal. The oh, our... what was? No, that's like the one thing he's not called. Vig he's like Vigo the Vigo the Carpathian. He's from Carpathia. Okay. Ah, our virtuous patriarch celebrated. The ecumenical patriarch of Constantinople. Is a cool dude as far what as a cool Orthodox dude. is concerned, apparently. Well, oh. social manipulation. Oh no, it's Crovat. He's too cool for our court. We knew this was gonna happen. Alright, well, let's see. So this again is. Wow, this guy's a treacherous villain. <laughs> I knew I was right strong. to think he was cool. This, this guy, this dude is like the Chad of our court. He's just like so muscling you'll see us that, out. That it's saying, you guess the Crovat will do everything in his power to get the task done, blah, blah, blah. We're kind of trying to look at his stats and figure Holy out, Holy well, shit. What kind of dude is this? He's not a good I don't think he's self-conscious. Can okay. he do everything in his power? Not... No. He, he shall have tasks which are impossible to complete? Like, what tasks? 
So that would be Eating like, you sun. know, um, giving <laughs> giving him like stupid military tasks to get him out of the way. And because he's diligent, he'll still do them, even if they're ridiculous. Um, I think we either do this one. Oh, I wouldn't say he's necessarily unassertive. Well, the second option feels very Star Trek. The fourth option seems like the most fun, but it sounds like the first option is the one you think we should go with. So the this option will give us stress because we're compassionate, or it'll give us dread, which can be useful. It's not as good as the other ones. It doesn't give us some um, diplomacy lifestyle experience. Um, all of these will give us stress. Um, I'm going to go with this. Ignore him and steal his ideas. Uh, you, you failed, failed to manipulate Krovat. Krovat. Um, That's not as bad as it could have been. Levy desertion. Yeah, our marshal's poor marshal skill caused this. Can we replace you with someone? Yeah, can we reroll? Let's see, who's, who else we got? Nobody is even as good as this guy. We got this guy with six marshal. He's, He's our bad guitar. He's also a pretty decent dude. Well, well. <laughs> he's, he's an amateur nice slaughter. So basically, he's Crovat, but like a comedy Crovat. <laughs> that sounds awesome.